So we moved into our new office. Since this is a huge step for us, we thought we would document this and make this into our first vlog. We won't be doing a lot of those. We just want to document the big events and share it to you in a more in depth and to see what's really happening behind the scenes of Davis' So let's begin. We started Davis Home two years ago and it was during the first lockdown. So we started it from home basically. Because of all the boxes and the blends and the products and everything, uh, our home, small tiny apartment more uh, looked like a warehouse and not like a place to live. But we didn't mind at the first, we were just so excited to start growing Davis Home. But during Christmas, about seven months later, uh, it really became quite hectic with all the boxes. And since we grew quite a bit, uh, we wanted to look for our office. And in February, we moved into our very first office. It was in the heart of Vilnius. It was lovely. We were so excited to have a proper place to work and get basically our apartment back to live. And it, we were just so ec ecstatic and it really showed us that this project uh, could be something. A few weeks later, I quit my job and dedicated myself full time to daily school. From then on, we really started to, to grow. As I said, we absolutely loved our first office, but it just became small. Uh, our team grew, orders grew, I mean, uh, we couldn't even get into the packaging space because of all the boxes and the products, and uh, it just seemed not to be so convenient logistically as well. So we started to look for a new place, and it took us a while, about six months, and either it was just too expensive, or it, the infrastructure was just not good for us, and then I saw this place, and I just fell in love uh, from the pictures. I mean, this huge kitchen, a lot of lights, uh, I just thought about all of the content we can create here, and you know, where we can put our team, so you know, give our colleagues a bit more space to work and create, and I just loved it, and uh, we went and saw it in person, I loved it even more, and we signed the contract that week, and we started to move the next one. And basically, this is how the move went. Moving out of the old office, starting to pile up the van. Here is our old office now. It's gonna be a bit sad, but it's okay. Uh, so the team is uh, making jokes of me because this is our first uh, vlog so uh, this kind of filming is a bit weird so they just pulled up with all of the stuff here's the office So this is our Sunday, we're here at the office, uh, all of the stuff is in here, but now it's the most uh, exciting part to organize our uh, area. It's gonna be fun and to just uh, get everything prepared for Monday morning because people want to work here and <laughs> I mean we still have no tables and chairs, so let's get to work. the best part before and after shot. So this is before how the kitchen and area looked like, empty, and I really loved the lights and the big windows, and this is how it looks after. So we moved a couch a bit here uh, in order to be closer to the kitchen, so this is kind of more of a chill zone, you know, close to the kitchen to eat, shut up and everything, and then we set up a couple of tables for the team here as well. So regarding the kitchen, we didn't do much, uh, but we did have three most important things set up. It's of course the coffee machine, blender, and our products all set up. And so we go upstairs through the packaging room, and there is mine and Emma's space. I really like the skylight and the window into the kitchen and how it just opens up space. Uh, the office is quite simple, nothing fancy, but we did set up uh, this uh, emergency snacking corner, uh, especially, you know, for before DMS and everything. And then if we go downstairs and upstairs again, we have uh, more tables for the team. Uh, quite simple, I think we need to get more plants in here, so we will do that. And basically, yeah, this is our office. Uh, after each certain milestone, I just uh, always feel this strong uh, feeling of gratitude to you, you know, to our community for all the support because, I mean, without you this just wouldn't be possible. So, thank you again. Couldn't do this without you and 
this is it for now. Uh, let me know what you th thought about this first vlog. How did we do? Uh, should we do any more? And maybe what should we talk about next? That's it. See you.